And I do have something coming up. Get a pencil and paper on standby so you can take some notes. Have a pencil and paper on standby. Uh, I'll show you something. Y'all see that? See them magnets in there? <laughs> Y'all have a pencil and paper on standby. Uh, back to this thing. The uh, And you can adjust this. It's a spark plug. Uh, spark test thing right there and you just you just alligator this onto the ground and the spark plug guard goes here and then you can adjust this in and out to see actually you you, you kind of adjust it outward to see where that the spark stops okay when you have adjusted it outward to the point that you don't get a spark then that spark is is it's in it's in that coil somewhere or another and it will go the spark always goes to it takes a path of least resistance write that on the wall over there spark will take a path to least resistance that, that's that's uh it's pretty decent if you don't open the gap up too wide there's no reason to just, you know, I mean, there's just, uh, to put to put a gap like that right there, there's no reason. I'll tell you something else, too. Write this, uh, I hope y'all got that paper out there on standby. I'll tell you something. When, uh, uh, back to a conventional spark plug. Let's say that you have a spark plug. Maybe this, is, maybe this, this magneto is onto the engine. And you want to test it to see if it's got a spark. Or here on the workbench, wherever it be, whatever the environment is. And you put this together, and you put this together, and you put that together, and uh, and you trip the mag, and you've got a real nice blue spark. So you just keep on doing that. Okay, basically, the first spark is the only one that counted for the reason is once that that spark is so hot the temperature is so hot when that first spark is produced that it burns that oxygen that little that little uh, ball of air that's between those electrodes burns at such a high temperature that the gas that now is in that area, there's just nothing there. It's it's. Uh, uh, but anyways, look that up. Any sparks after the initial spark is of no consequences. I mean, it's it's it looks good and 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 all, but you know it's not telling you anything. Now you can you can have a fan. You you, you could put a fan on the on the side over there, blowing air across, and then each spark would have some relevance <laughs> look it up you only hear that kind of stuff from here on the east coast of arkansas and <laughs> shop dog sam's the ones telling it to you I leave a comment leave a comment the show goes on oh hey wait a minute we not talked about this thing here yet uh <laughs> probably and probably we ought to bring this little, I, I kind of like this right here. <laughs> we ought to bring this into the picture. And it's the same, the ozone uh, uh, <laughs> story goes along with this right here, you know. But uh, th th this is pretty decent. And, and it's cheap. You can get them at most anywhere, any auto parts store, you know. If, if they've got them, get you one. If they ain't, uh, have them to order you one. But all it is is two contacts in there, and they're set, uh, uh, looking in yonder, it's a sixteenth, it's more than a sixteenth, I forgot, I think it was in the paperwork, uh, it's, it, but it's adjustable, you can turn those in and out, you, 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 can, you can turn these in and out and set whatever gap you want to set at, but that one right there, it's a little more than a sixteenth of an inch, and, and, and what you do, red, yellow, green, and it's compression, it's a little plastic thing there, got a little hole in it, and a little thing down here. And what you do is you wet this, poke it in your mouth, spit on it, and then put the two together like this right here, and, and press them together. And you see that hand come up? Actually, they built the thing kind of, kind of, 
it's not built correctly. The, the gauge should be out here somewhere or another where you could put the thing together because if you push it down on that gauge, you bend the gauge forward and it, it binds up. So you have to keep that in mind. But anyway, you put the, you push those two together and when you do, what you're doing is putting compression inside that little container right there. And you see I've got compression. It'll come all the way that's a lot of compression. I mean, that's really a lot of compression over there. But if you've got a spark in there, when that hand's in the green, then it'll fire the engine. So, uh, so all you do is just ground one side of it, and the other side goes to the spark plug bar. Make good contacts. And then, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but make sure that's in there good. Make sure that's up there good. Y'all see, did y'all see that spark in there? That's, that's a very, very good spark. It's blue. It's as blue as can be, and that's the color you're looking for on a spark. And, and, and it's, it's quite bold. It's a big old fat spark. It ain't just a little skinny thing. But each time that that's tripped, it, it makes that spark in there. And, uh, and, and if you want less compression, you just pull the two apart and the compression goes back down. Most, most anything will fire over in your these are very good. These are very good test apparatuses. I, I'd recommend that you have one of these right here. They're available mail order too. And the thing of it is, now I don't sell no parts. Uh, uh, the, the, that's that's another thing of the comments right there. Is um, you know I ain't I ain't got no parts for sale. I, I really ain't told nobody. I really ain't addressed that amount of comments just yet I, i'm not but but anyway uh i ain't got no parts for sale so i'm not trying to sell you nothing you, you know a lot of, if, if if somebody's trying to sell you something then uh, the one that they've got is the best one in the world you know i mean there's not a used car dealer along the drag down yonder along the main street there's not a used car dealer's got a bad car on the yard you know what i mean if somebody has something to sell you then uh, you can pretty well bet that the part you got is going to be bad. The thing of it is, I got no parts for sale. Uh, I'm just going to leave that to, for what it is. Now, that, that big old quarter inch gap right yonder, and I put that on there, and uh, we should move the camera around there and see that thing. Let's do that. We might even get a close-up of that. Uh, thanks to everybody that left a comment in this Wyco EK series. i just like to, in all humbleness, you know, i just like to say thanks for all the comments that everybody left. And I hope, I kind of do hope that this has been some assistance. You know, if you can get an engine running by by watching one of these videos right here, it just, I mean, that's, that's, that's what it's all about. Just trying to help you get your engine running. I'll leave a comment there. Now we're gonna get on that bailing war engine now, but let's try to leave you with a couple of sparks right here. And this could go on for days.